Okay guys, well, welcome to another edition of the port forwarding using a watch card T30. First you can see, go to SNAT and then zoom in a bit, go to, well, edit, but we need to open the, lock, the padlock first. And you go to add. And in here you can put a name whatever name you want, something memorable, so you can see it in the policy window. So remember on the left, firewall policies and S not is where you find the location. So I give it the name CCTV and the description S not to CCTV. So it just means static not. Click add. Up here we have the IP address and the internal IP address in the members field. So we're gonna put the internal IP address of the DVR slash NVR. In this case, it's 10.0.0.2, which is the DVR IP address. Press OK. Oops, uh, could make a mistake. As you can see, the arrow there in the middle. So we need to go from outside to inside. So you're going to go from any external, which is outside, to inside, which is 10.0.0.2. So in this screen now, we are going to go to firewall policies and we're going to add a new policy. And we go to custom, then add. And we're going to give this policy a name. We're going to call it CCTV Ports. And click on to add. Obviously, there is um, other options you can use. So, next screen, we're going to have a single port. And we're going to select the TCP. And we're going to put the port we're trying to forward, which is 9001. The default port is 8000, but I've changed that myself. And the next port, which is the HTTP port, to view it via browser. Again, I've changed it to 8001. Go to OK. The RSTP port, so you can do a remote playback on your mobile phone. We're going to port forward a port which is 554 and that's it, okay save this saved in this screen now we need to basically map ports through so We need to add the policy that we have just created. Now the policy has been added. We need to map it. Now this is where it's been mapped. So from any external, which it says in the box, so from and it goes to two on the other side. So we're gonna delete the from field. So we remove this and then we add. We want to add any external which is already there and then in the next field two. And we need to send it the all this traffic to the DVR, so we remove, remove this, go to add, 
find the s not static not and the cctv which we already created that rule and click add then save and that's it that rule is now there cctv ports that rule is now present and that's so how you put forward you close the lock that's so how you put forward in a t30